everyone. I am Rebecca from Chemnitz, and let's leave no dye behind. Right here, I have some Dyer Supplier Marled Sock Yarn, which is 40% Peruvian Highland Wool, 40% Merino, and 20% Nylon. This sock yarn is not super wash, but it does have some strength to it because of that nylon that is in there. So you can make some really pretty hand wash only socks with this yarn base. But the thing that really excites me about it is this barber, barber pole twist um, from the different colors of fiber. I added the dry yarn to a dye path that had somewhere between 8 and 10 cups of water with 3 tablespoons of light vinegar. And we're going to add a lot of leftover dye to this yarn sort of randomly. I had mixed the following colors, sort of a dusty pink purple, green, a golden yellow, and this deep blue for a project I did earlier. And now these colors are left over, so let's have some fun! I am going to let the yarn pre-soak for about 15 minutes. Dyer Supplier did send me this yarn for free, and if you'd like to learn more about any of the yarn, equipment, zip ties that I use in these videos, you can find affiliate links in the video description. After the pre-soak, I turned on both burners. Uh, this chafing pan is on top of two burners on my stove, and we are now ready to start adding some color. I think I want to start with my deepest color and you can see it's going to be fairly subtle I think on the yarn. Uh, these are all some jacquard colors that I mixed up and yeah I'm sort of randomly adding this onto the yarn and I'm using a lot more right away than I thought that I might. <laughs> I guess I should save some to the other side. The downside of starting with a yarn that is already gray is that colors don't show up quite as much. But I am just sort of randomly, it's not even speckling, and we're not low immersion, but we're just adding some hints of these colors. And I'm trying to use, I think, about approximately half of the dyes that I have already mixed, um, saving the other half to use on the other side. We'll see how much this looks like the original color or not. Um, and then I have some hints of this pinky color. This is very, very subtle, but also kind of fun. I have no idea what kind of color penetration we're getting, and I have a feeling this is going to be just like a tiny wash of color, but yeah, I think it's pretty fun. Wow, it looks like almost completely nothing on camera. <laughs> I promise there is something there. It is like a little light wash of pastel color. Uh, you barely see the green, but the, the more, even though they're not really primaries, but the, the blue, yellow, and pink are showing up a tiny bit more. Uh, I think, I mean, I feel like colors have probably struck pretty well already, but I am going to go ahead and I'm going to just let this all sit for 10 minutes and then we'll come add more color. This is so subtle, you guys. And what's funny is that the amount of color that I have definitely is not nothing. You know, like I definitely had some dye here. So it's possible that if I was doing this on like, oh, that's hot. <laughs> if I was doing this on a pure white skein, then we might see what's happening a bit more. I'm going to go through and do this in like the same kind of order. Whoop. Just a little bit all over. 
And we'll compare this. I have more bare yarn in this color. So we'll be able to compare this to something uh, to see like what we can see. I think the yellow is standing out a bit. Or Aztec gold, sorry. This is kind of fun though. I really like just sort of randomly applying color to yarn. I wonder how far this is going to sink in, if it's going to feel like we only added color to like some small amounts or what. But whatever it is, I am enjoying it. And it's always just a shame, like I had the dye left in my cups. And this is a strength that I was using for the hand painting. So I had it in the cups and I really did not want to say goodbye to this color and just like toss it. You know, I wanted the color to go on and live its best colorful life. <laughs> this is making no sense, guys. Uh, it's been a long day of yarn dyeing. And I'm going in with this like pink color now. I know it doesn't look like much, but I really, really hope there will be something fun to show you guys on the other side. But, ta da! <laughs> <laughs> this is restraint even for me. Okay, I'm gonna go let this sit for 10 minutes. It's been 10 minutes. I know it doesn't look like a lot, but I think it's cool. I'm so curious to see what this looks like when it dries. I wonder if the colors will disappear, or since it's no longer wet, everything is lighter, then we'll see these colors a little better. Either way, I'm gonna let it cool completely uh, before we go wash it. Let's wash our yarn. The dye bath is completely clear, but that really shouldn't be very much of a surprise because <laughs> there's not a lot of color. But okay, I just squeezed out the yarn. You can see some pops of color on there. Oh dear. Um, this isn't going to require very much washing at all. But if you don't like vinegar smells, then, you know, a couple rinses come in handy. Uh, I'm going to add for usual, a little bit of clear dish soap. Uh, really, you can use any kind of wool wash or a colored dish soap. I just like the clear one because I think it gives a better representation for you when I add soap if any color is coming out. But I'm not going to rinse out the soap, hang, put the yarn through the spin dryer, and hang it up to dry. And we'll come see if you really need any difference on this yarn. <laughs> Here is the finished dry yarn. It is subtle, it is pastel, but there is color there, I promise. Honestly, when I looked at these leftover dyes, I thought I had a lot more pigment than I really did. If I had realized that there was so little pigment left, maybe I wouldn't have started with, with this marled sock yarn base from Dyer Supplier. Maybe instead I would have gone for, say, their 80-20 sock yarn base. Because when you use more dilute dyes on top of a white base, you're going to see that color a lot more than when you start with already a medium to dark gray base. That's just the way it is. However, if you want something really subtle, then this is a really, really great thing to do. The color that disappeared the most is the pink. There are a few hints in here of that color, but it seems that it's almost, you, you don't really feel that warmth as much as you feel those yellows and blues and greens. Those pop more against the background. When you put our pastel marled yarn next to a bare skein, suddenly you can see the color. All of the tones are overall deeper, plus you can absolutely pick up the blue, some green and yellow pigments. The pinks are present, they're just more subtle. I am Rebecca from Chemnitz, and I filmed this episode of Leave No Time Behind a few months ago, honestly, but it really is fitting in nicely with my desire, um, and especially the November Chemnitz Dialogue, my desire to play with restraint and pastel colors. It is really easy for me to add 
more dye and more dye and more dye. And it's a lot harder for me to decide when to stop. And I really like this subtle colorway and it's something that I would knit with in a heartbeat. Because, well, I mean, the, the marled nature sort of overwhelms it, but these little bits of color are gonna keep things exciting and add a little more dimension to what is already a very dimensional yarn. I wouldn't necessarily try this with a super complicated stitch pattern, but I think that to garter stitch or stock a net or something fairly simple, it will really help those projects shine. If you are a huge fan of the colorways I create, did you know that you can bring them home? The Kenneth's Creations Etsy shop is filled with hundreds of skeins of hand dyed yarn that I feature in my videos. So when you purchase one of them while you're knitting, you can rewatch the video and see me create the yarn all over again. And it adds an, a, another layer to that handmade element of this craft of fiber arts that we all really enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe, turn on notifications, and leave a comment below to let me know what you thought. Uh, I'm not sure if, I mean, I love this marled sock yarn base, and I'm not sure if it's still out of stock or limited edition on Dyer Supplier. I really hope that they bring it back um, if they haven't already. Um, but make sure you go and check out their website. I really appreciate them giving me this yarn for free. And yeah, uh, I can't believe we're almost done with 2019. Ah! So stay tuned for a lot of other fun stuff that's going to happen before the end of the year. Thank you so much for watching.